welcome back to this YouTube channel where we discuss, you know, educational content, you know, on this YouTube channel. On this YouTube channel, you are going to have a lot of things to gain. And so today, we want to talk about settings and conflict in literature, right? I'm going to explain what it means when we say we have settings and what it means when you hear conflict in literature. So let us start with settings. Now, what is settings? In literature, anytime you hear the word settings, what comes to your mind is, okay, how is this particular idea being set out? But now, anytime from this moment on, when you hear the word settings, what they are basically trying to pass out to you is that what is the time that this particular play, prose, uh, or poetry is being done? The general location, the social circumstances, Please, you need to know this because I have discovered that in most cases where students want to talk about settings, they only say the time, the venue, and that's just all. But we need to note that something that is called social circumstances is also involved in what we call settings. Now, in social circumstances, we have different uh, types of social circumstances, but we have three dominant ones, which are the economic, the cultural, that is the economic circumstances, all right, or context, let's use context, the economic context, the cultural context, and the religious context. Now, this context, it means environment. In other words, if you are trying to write a novel, probably you are in Nigeria or you are in Ghana, you are trying to write a novel in Ghana, you are going to write, for example, if you want to write something that has to do with religion, you are going to write according to the religion of the location you have. Do you understand? If you want to write something that has to do with culture, you are going to write according to the culture of the place that you are or that you are exposed to, as well as the economic factors. I hope you understand what I'm talking about. So, anytime you want to talk about certain, after making us understand that, okay, this is where uh, the novel, the play, or uh, the poetry is being carried out or it evolved. Now, let us understand that social circumstances also come into place. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Good. So, if you understand that, I want you to give this video a thumbs up. And I said we are going to discuss about conflict also. Here it in literature is just like the normal meaning we have accorded to it. Now, conflict means problem. Generally, it means problem, right? Now, in literature, problem, that is a problem that face the major character in that particular work of art, when I say work of art now, I'm referring to a literature or a literary text, right? The problem that faced the major character, and the major character is otherwise called the protagonist, right? We have the protagonist, we have the antagonist. Now, the protagonist is the major character, while the antagonist is the person or the character that actually come against the protagonist. Now, we are talking about the pro protagonist now. So, conflict, we have different kinds of conflict also. We have the internal conflict and the external conflict. Now, the internal conflict, it has to be or has to do with the conflict that the character feels inside. Probably emotional instability or, you know, just for example yourself. Things you fight with inside of yourself that you may not even speak to people about it, but you feel them. Those are what we refer to as internal conflict or indecisive. Maybe you want to take an action and you are thinking within you, ah, should I do this? Should I do this? That is what we refer to as internal conflict. And external conflict, it means the problem that actually face the protagonist face to face. In most essence, it always comes through the antagonist, right? Probably the protagonist is killed or his life is being threatened. All those kind of problem is what we have in external. I want you to ask your question if you have any question probably on the settings and the conflict i have discussed about please do well to comment it under this video and if this video is helpful i want you to give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and leave a comment of encouragement i will release more and more videos that will enlighten you on literature on english language and any other subject that has to do with academics thank you once again for watching this is illuminated mind my name is samson how you're in the thank you for watching I will see you next time.